Captain Conrad McRae of the research and exploration vessel Spirit of Pilgrim, consigning a Code Optimum special update to the Documentary History Archive for selected listening access only. The philosopher scientist Milos Tarknasis once wrote, It's not the worlds of distant planets that we need fear most, but the worlds we are capable of creating ourselves. Of all the mad gods and aliens that populate the universe, there are none more ominous than the denizens of our own making. I had the occasion of contemplating the full significance of the Milos theorem upon my arrival to the exoplanetary sanctuary of Kepler 1649c, one of several planets in the habitable zone of the Red Dwarf Kepler 1649 solar system in the constellation of Cygnus, home of the first magnitude stellar navigation point, the Star of Deneb. Evidently, the remaining inhabitants of Kepler 1649c had taken refuge in the subzones in order to escape some unknown catastrophe, an extinction event that reduced their planet to a rancid dust bowl of radioactive waste. It appears also that at some point in the aftermath, the artificial intelligence constructs of the support infrastructure had reached a point of singularity, including a robotic hominids, electronic brain flips, and automated cybernetic mobile man droids, extremely dangerous when on control. When we entered the below worlds, we found the human inhabitants divided into subnormal primal groupings of savage and superstitious tribes who collectively worshipped the machines that oppressed them. Sacrificial offerings of living martyrs were made to the Mechanica in order to appease them of their remorseless and emotionless rancor. The humans had resorted to primeval idolatry behaviors that put them in awe of the undiminishing energy source of the plasma system, a great churning ball of heat and light that pulsated over them in the upper echelons of the principal chamber. It became clear to us, meanwhile, that they had lost all awareness of the overground worlds, and that for them, the limits of the universe were confined to the depths of their subterranean enclosure. We were able to reactivate the database server which had failed them in the aftermath of the cataclysm, and which has retained the knowledge legacies of their science and history, all of which is all lost which to is them. Lost. Our initial plan was to re-educate them about their plight, and to expose them to the terrible truth of their degeneration. But our psychologists say that this in itself may cause them greater harm than that which they have already suffered. The dilemma for us now is whether to attempt to restore the absence of civilization that has overtaken them, or whether to discreetly depart from Kepler 1649c, to leave them to dwell in the ignorance of their savage inclination, and to make our way in the outer regions of the galaxy we call our home. 